So we're here at Global World Congress 2012 here at the STRXN booth. And uh, you're working at Lenaro, right? I am working at Lenaro, yes. So what do you do? So at Lenaro, I am a software developer who mostly look after the snowball board that is manufactured by, uh, by that hosts an STRXN core and built by a cloud system. So uh, this is it. That is the core, that's correct. So how many people are working with this? Working with it or working on it? Yeah, working on it. There's about um, at least a dozen people between Lenaro and STRX and providing different levels of support for it, enablement. Um, it's a big team. It's a so comprehensive team. Basically, you go in and you optimize everything to the bottom of every hardware Not necessarily, not necessarily. What we do is try to enable the board as much as we can uh, and, and make it public. So we don't only offer software for it, it's software you can download, recompile, and reinstall and recreate exactly the same demonstration that we have. Uh, it makes a, an awesome foundation for a product, for instance, where you don't have to uh, start customizing your kernel or your bootloader. Everything is done for you and all you have to do is, is, is uh, work on the application that differentiates your product from other products. So this ice cream sandwich, fully smooth? Ice cream sandwich right now is fully accelerated. We are working on multimedia to enable that, so graphic playback, uh, audio as well. Um, yeah, it's got Wi-Fi. We are fixing a few bugs with it, but it mostly works. And um, good old Ethernet, cable Ethernet on it as well. So how do you optimize the multimedia? What do you need to do there? There's no, there's no again, it's not an optimization thing, but an enablement thing. Um, so you, you basically have to, to use uh, the features of the board and the, um, the Nova chip to basically render the video and the audio. Alright, how about the baseband stuff? There is no modem on it, there is no 3G modem on it. The chip does have one, it is not enabled. Uh, our partner Cloud System here has a prototype that uh, involves a, uh, a GSM modem and a uh, data card. And uh, on the flip side, it has not been made public yet. There's still, it's, still, it's in the early phase of development. Do you work on Ubuntu as well? We do have a, uh, the same level of enablement on Ubuntu as well. All right. So what's the next step for Linaho on the S with X direction? The next step is to definitely to fix all the problems that we, we currently have. Um, multimedia is, is a huge factor. That is a huge thing that we want to. Um, basically enabled. And from there, we'll be waiting for uh, the next card that will be coming from Mr. Erickson. The Mali 400 is in there? Is in there. And you're using, the, using it fully? Fully accelerated. The binaries, uh, the driver is in the kernel, um, and the user space binaries are, are um, you, you, get, you get them from the Eagle Community site as, as a binary blob. So nothing is closed source in there? Again, the, the user space library, the special glue, the GLES libs, are closed. Those are binaries. Everything else is public and available. And what is that, the GLS? Well, in, in, in order to work with Molly, you need to have a Molly library in user space. So that is STRX and proprietary. All right. Cool.